السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Unfortunately we cannot meet face to face but still we can talk with each other because of COVID-19 because of COVID-19 stay at home and don't go anywhere for your safety yeah? inshallah soon this problem will be solved inshallah Make dua. Uh, our subject is invention and innovation, MPU 3252. My name is there and my telephone number here. Anytime you can contact me, no problem. You can ask about anything you want. Chapter 1 is introduction to invention and innovation. Here in the slide I will give very brief, uh, but you can elaborate because you have many resources nowadays in, through the internet, through the uh, YouTube, through many areas you can have many ideas about invention and innovation. Okay, so inshallah you will get complete picture what is the meaning of invention and innovation. If you have invention, how to protect your invention, what is the best way so this course will be very good for you, uh, for your uh, future career, inshallah. Difference, what is the difference between invention and innovation? I think no, uh, there is big difference between both. And this uh, differences we can show in the following slides. Invention is something that a person creates but doesn't exist before. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Uh, this means that something never never exists before. Something new, creative idea, so that uh, people can utilize, can feel that happy about it, appreciate your invention. People who create invention are called inventors. So if you are the one who make this new invention, then you will be inventor or if group will be inventors okay inventors can live anywhere in the world and can be any age uh, so this is no no matter where are you from what is your age what is your religion what what whatever that is not a big issue issue is your product is it useful or no it is helpful for human benefit or no it is new idea or no? That is the most important. Because if you have the idea, then people will use it. And uh, human everywhere will appreciate your uh, invention. Inventions are made to solve problems. Of course, if we don't have any problems, then, then no need to make any invention. So problems will make us think about uh, what, how to solve this problem, okay? These are three examples, but there are thousands of examples about inventions. For example, the wheel started with wood. And this was very important uh, to use by, for example, horses to transport your heavy, 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 what you say, like crops, like woods, like whatever to. So that was very, very important at that time. This wheel developed now to be, you know, tires, different types. Uh, people now like slim tires, people like white tire, and uh, you know, there are different wheel now used for airplane, for trucks, for uh, everything wheel. Light bulb also very important because electric electricity is there. If there is no bulb, then cannot utilize, cannot find, cannot get a light. So this was very big invention. Telephone also, it was wiring, of course, it must be connected with wire from place. People call to the people receive, but it was very helpful because you can hear uh, from very far distance. Now you have different generations. Now we are in G5. G5, you can see visual like, Okay, you are talking with someone very close to you. You can talk with someone who is very close to you. 
is very high on advanced technology. Invention is a creative process, an open and curious mind enables one to see beyond what is known. You have to think about beyond the, you know, imagination, you have to imagine what people need and how to solve and what problems. For example, here, this one, I call my invention the wheel. This actually square, not wheel. And if you use to carry things, for example, in the horses or whatever, that is <laughs> difficult to run. So definitely nobody will think about it. But if you make here like, like a wheel, you make uh, easy to move, to rule, then will be very helpful. Okay. This is very small invention, but somehow very interesting just to, 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 to let you think about what kind of things you have to, to, to imagine. For example, this one is small fan <laughs> for, uh, you know, cooling a noddle. This is a noddle, of course, you know, in South Asia, Southeast Asia, Japan, Korea, China, even in Malaysia also. But uh, the idea is very, somehow, very, 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 very good. Here also friction tools or filtration tools. Filtration tools here is to filter the water, to get clean water and to keep the vegetable. So it's very helpful and very useful and all ladies <laughs> appreciate this, especially housewives. They're very happy about this. This is also another idea. It's very small, but it's very, very important. And these small ideas can generate a lot of income. You know, if you, if you have this idea and make patent for this one, nobody can take this idea unless they pay for you. So that is the, we will talk later about how to make your patent, how to make your copyright, it's called intellectual property. There are six different types of intellectual properties. Innovation is improvement or significant contribution to the existing product, process or surface. So you have something already there, but you need to modify it to make it more, more uh, useful. So innovation can simply mean taking something that already exists and make, making it much more, more better, okay? For example, the flame developed to be incandescent and then fluorescent and then LED. And this LED, of course, different colors, different, you know? So maybe in the future there is other, also other, other things. So this is the, the one of the, this will be the invention. This will be will innovation. Okay, for example, the wheel. This is the beginning and this is the latest. So this is the invention. This will be the innovation. Create, develop, and then make it more, more uh, useful. Uh, mobile phone, you have different companies, different types. As you see here, you have Apple, Nokia, Motorola, HTC, Samsung. Nowadays you have also what you call it, Huawei. And uh, so this also different generation. Before it was you know very simple, and now you can get to this one. And now we have as I mentioned before G5, which you know visual and sound and everything is in wonderful uh, clearance. So this is kind of invention at the beginning and became innovation, modify and became to the latest, uh, latest model. History invention has started since uh, Stone Age, thousand years ago, 25,000 to 50,000 BCE. This is before, before Christianity, before, before Al-Masih alayhi salam came. Human first wear clothes. 10,000 PCE earliest ports are constructed. 6,000 to 7,000 PCE hand made bricks first used for construction in the Middle East. For example, in pyramids in you know, Egypt and that area, Middle East area. 3,500 PCE humans invent the wheel. 
1000 BC Iron Age begins. Iron is widely used for making tools and weapons. Uh, this is also to protect yourself from animals, knives, whatever. Uh, tools also here for for cooking, for uh, for uh, how to say, for plantation, to dig the the, the, the soil and to plant all this in the Iron Age. 150 CE, this is after Ceylon makes the first paper in China. And this also became the setting of the knowledge, transfer of the knowledge from, from one area to another. So paper was the, the very important tools at that time to transfer the knowledge and to document also the knowledge. Uh, famous inventors and their inventions there are seven great inventors. Thomas Edison, of course, all you know, light bulb, and Orville Wilbur Wright, or Wright brothers, invented and flew the world's very successful airplane in 1903. I think this also for during Islamic history, also some people tried to fly, like uh, Abbas bin Firnas. So they start before this, but this is the successful airplane in 1903. Galileo also telescope and compass. Compass also during Islamic uh, era also it was invented and in very precise direction. Benjamin Franklin, American polymath who discovered electricity. Then James Watt, Scottish inventor of the steam engine for trains. Steam now, steam engine every uh, steam engine at the time. Now there are different type of engine developed and modified. Um, Alexander Graham Bell, Scottish inventor of telephone, and Steve Jobs, American entrepreneur and developer. Jobs helped revolutionize computer device with iPod, iPad, MacBook, and iPhone. Well, first chapter one. We go to chapter two. Core concept of technology. What is the technology? Uh, technology is the application of knowledge, tools, and skills to solve practical problems and extend human capabilities. So you have problem, and you have technology to solve this problem. Okay? So life became more easier, more... But at the same time, our life easy, however, it is too much contamination. What we are facing now is kind of that thing. This kind of viruses, I think this is due to the uh, access use of human for unnecessary things. We are using more than what we need. I'm trying to, you know, to manipulate things that became dangerous to us. Uh, five core concepts of technology. We have system requirements, optimization, trade-off, process control. System is a group of interrelated components designed collectively to achieve a common goal. System requires all components to function properly in order for the system to function. For example, if in our body, if we have any problem, for example, we cannot see, so we are missing something. It is not properly function, our body. The human body and our electrical grid are example of a system. If one part fail, all other parts are impacted and may result in the failure of inter the entire system. This is why a system or complete system must have all the elements, all the components. Requirements are the parameters placed on the development of product or system. They are must do components of a design. Criteria identify the desired feature of product or system. Constraint involve the limitation of a design. We often say that we are working within certain parameters. So parameters, for example, now you telephone we have. We can receive call, we can answer the call, we can take a video. But for example, to take a photo in 
other place directly from your telephone you cannot maybe through wi-fi through webcam whatever you can but directly so there is limitation for our product we cannot use it for everything there is something we can use there is something we cannot use for example now i record this one uh maybe you can listen you can visualize but you cannot talk with me at the same time so you need to uh, maybe call me or so there is some some shortage some some features that we cannot uh, make it perfect optimization will be involved making the product as functional as it can be given the criteria and constraint uh, for example you have a very good telephone uh, visual you can take very nice image however uh, voice you cannot hear clear okay and you are for example photographer in this case and you have another telephone also you have very good voice or very good clear uh, microphone but camera is not good so as photographer you will select the first one because your job need that one so it is trade off you cannot get sometimes all things at the same time but you take the things that necessary for you very helpful for you will make your uh, work uh, quality very better very good okay a trade of involve a choice of an uh, one quality of another an example would be making a product out of plastic which would be cheaper over using more expensive aluminum or other materials okay process is a sequence of action used to combine resources in order to produce an output an example would be measuring ingredient combining and baking the mixture to make a cake so process will be starting with number one number two number three finally you will have your product as mentioned here if you want to make a cake what you need to do at the beginning you need to have the ingredient after you have the ingredient you need to make to wait the ingredient and then you make mixing whatever and then you go for baking and then finally you will have maybe delicious cake or if ingredient not very good then your process will be failed taste will not be that good okay controls are the mechanism or activity that use information to cause system to change so for example you are making the cake what temperature you need to control if you make it 250 maybe burn your cake if you make it 150 maybe will not get uh, you know big uh, as you want so control should be there control may be manual like the gas pedal in an automobile or automatic like the thermostat used to control temperature of your home or for example suppose that uh, there is short circuit in your house and there is no fuse this no fuse meaning that will make make accident burn so if you have fuse then that will be the control if there is short circuit there immediately will stop the conductivity of electricity and prevent firing or make disaster okay i hope it is clear that is all for uh, our uh, chapter one and chapter two Hopefully, inshallah, 